Hey, this is Gary Baird with SellerEssentials.com. In this video, I want to show you how I use the Keepa browser extension to help analyze products when I'm sourcing, either online or with my phone out in the store. Um, to download the browser extension so you can use it while you're online, you need to Google Keepa extension, and you can see the Chrome extension shows up here and the Firefox extension shows up here. So pick whichever one works for you and download that and once you've downloaded it when you go to a product page I just pulled up this sample product for no particular reason uh, except it has a pretty good keep a chart to talk about um, once you've done that download you will see this chart here this graph and this information over here that wasn't there before you downloaded the Keepa app so let's go through this information one piece at a time um, you can see there's much more to this tool than what we're going to talk about today. Um, this is just one tab of this tool called the price history. And what it does is it gives you the historical prices of Amazon on this product. And you can search by all 319 days or as long as the product's been on Amazon. Uh, you can search for the last three months or you can search for the last month. And sometimes it gives you the week option as well. Um, and what this does is it gives you Amazon's historical pricing. The white gaps show when Amazon's been out of stock. So if you see an item that is uh, you, that Amazon is selling and they're competition for you, uh, it kind of it can help you when you're deciding whether or not to lower your price to compete with them. Uh, if they go out of stock frequently, then it's likely that they're going to go out of stock in the future and you're going to be able to sell yours for a higher price. And you can see that's exactly what these sellers here this, these two here, $29.95 and $32.99. That's exactly what they're doing. They're waiting for Amazon to go out of stock since they have in the past, and they're going to sell theirs when Amazon does. Um, so if you look at the full view, you can see Amazon has gone out of stock quite a bit on this product. They had a nice run here from December of last year to early, uh, it looks like, yeah, early April of this year when they were in stock um, for an extended period of time uh, and then they've been in and out of stock the last uh, three weeks or so and then or sorry the last the last part of April and then starting in May it looks like they've been pretty consistently in stock at least for now there's nothing that says they're not going to go out of stock again the product the rank on this product is pretty strong uh, 688 currently and uh, one of the things that we'll look at is how Keepa tracks rank here in a minute. The second thing that we want to look at is marketplace prices uh, and compare them to Amazon prices. You'll notice very frequently that the Amazon price and the seller price, the blue price, the third party seller price will mirror each other. Um, sometimes that's Amazon price matching a seller and sometimes that's other sellers matching Amazon to try to get the sale. And you can see in this case, the seller's actually priced below Amazon to try to get the buy box and make some sales. Um, in these cases, they pretty much mirrored them. They looked like they were just slightly under. They were probably using a repricer to stay just below Amazon's price. But you see what happens here when Amazon goes out of stock. And this is one of the things you want to look at when you're analyzing a product to purchase. Um, what happens to a product when it goes out of stock? Not every price jumps up high when Amazon goes out of stock. This one happens to do so though. So when Amazon was out of stock from April 1st to April 8th, um, they came back in and out of stock a little bit, it looked shows in there. But when they went out of stock for, you know, three days here in a row, the price jumped $10. And so that's a nice, pretty significant increase, which shows that these two sellers over here aren't just hoping and dreaming that they sell theirs, but they've got a pretty good shot when Amazon goes out of stock to get rid of theirs. Um, so you want to pay attention to what happens when Amazon goes out of stock. Does the price jump up or does the price stay pretty static? Um, it matters when you're deciding what to buy and how many to buy. The last piece of information they provide on this is only a few months old. It's sales rank. You can see it covers this whole three month span. Um, but when you click on the whole 319 day view, you can see it only started in February 1st where they actually started tracking sales rank and publishing it on this graph. But it's helpful nonetheless. You can see how rank is affected by pricing. You can see all along here, price is pretty consistent and sales rank is pretty consistent. Um, here you see the rank rose a little bit to the five mid 500 range. Uh, when you, you can see what happens though when Amazon goes out of stock. Um, this is what you want to pay attention to. Prices may go up on a product, but if the rank really increases, um, that's a bad thing sometimes. Now in this case, rank went up 
quite a bit comparatively, but it only went up into the 2000s, which is still a really solid rank in toys. So this is a product that I wouldn't worry about selling briskly, even though it jumped up in rank. It looks like to you know the mid-2000 range, 25-25. Uh, doesn't look like that was the peak, but it was pretty close to it. So those are the three pieces of information that Keepa will give you if you download the browser extension. Use it to your advantage um, to help you analyze products. The last thing I want to show you um, that goes along with all of this is this statistic little link here. If you just hover over this, it will give you an overall view of Amazon's lowest price, highest price, and average price over the last 90 days. Um, and then they'll do the same thing for third-party sellers in the middle with the blue column. And they'll do the same thing with rank. They give you a good overall picture of what the average rank was, what the highest rank was, and the lowest rank. So all these things can help you make better buying decisions. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. For more great tips, resources, and services uh, that can help you run your online business more efficiently and hopefully profitably, check out SellerEssentials.com.